Intermezzo 1938. You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. Old man that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. <laughs> Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Popone's mob. <laughs> so what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. you don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello agreed to divvy up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello... Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if we couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears of the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam could point a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, and the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Ordentliche Sammlung. Wahlkampf 1938. Any trouble? No bass, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. 
gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now, the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck, and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and this crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'll be talking to someone else. Then get it done. Ja gut, solche Macht muss man haben. Hey, sich den handsome. Weg. <lacht> Ladies. You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look our way. He's a good boy. Um sich den Weg nach oben frei zu schießen. Jeder Mensch, jeder Typ, jeder macht, dem sich die sich Don Salieri in den Weg stellt, wird eiskalt eliminiert. Hey Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat to the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these, where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in the room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? No, yeah, I have to check. way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. Sonst so. Eine Schrotze. Tommy Gun. Doch, doch. Ich bin auf alles vorbereitet, was kommt. Und zur Abwechslung. Klaue ich, klau ich mir hier einfach mal ein Auto. Statt eins aus der Garage zu nehmen. Schön aus, wie das heißt. Hope in their hearts. 
That man is Hank Turnbull. Mr. Turnbull stepped away from political life after 20 years as congressman of the 27th district. The appalling situation on state lines at South Bend has compelled him to step into the breach once more. And we could have no finer champion in the governor's mansion than Hank Turnbull. He'll bring all... Patrol cars for shooting called off. Abandoned search and return to patrols. Bad playground. Proven in the battlefield that is the 27th Congressional District, Mr. Turnbull will be tough on crime and tough on the systemic corruption that plagues our state. We are lucky in the extreme... Ich habe Propaganda rede gerade im Radio hier von der Mr. Turnbull. He receives the full backing and endorsement of the Berenger family and Berenger's department store. will work for food. Big house is our house. Dann haben es alle gewonnen. Ich nehme Vorsicht, habe mal den Basie in die Hand. Räumungsbefehl, Polizei von Lost Heaven, Stadt Lost Heaven, Räumungsklage. Hiermit werden die Bewohner des stillgelegten Gefängnisses von Lost Heaven auf eine Zwangsräumung hingewiesen. Sie bewohnen eine Immobilie im Besitz der Stadt Lost Heaven. Dafür gibt es weder eine Vereinbarung, noch wurde Miete bezahlt. Wenn die zehn Tage nach Erhalt dieser Benachricht Benachrichtigung immer noch innerhalb der Gefängnismauern leben, wird die Polizei von Lost Heaven sie zwangsweise entführen. Verlassen Sie das Gelände sofort. If you don't mind the cold and the crazies. Ja gut. Sieht so aus, als ob sie immer noch hier will. You know the way inside. You with city hall. You'll never evict them all. There's too many. Die wohnen hier wirklich sehr schön. said you wanted the guard tower. They made her mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. Boy, this keyboard is awesome. Hey, get out of there! We ain't going nowhere! Turn around! No seven. Typewriter is our holy. Ab durch die Kanalisation. Da wird uns sicherlich gleich jemand... Wie ist es begegnen? Ne, habe ich leider nicht. Tut mir leid. Someone's coming true. No. Well, you ain't one of us. You're not. I'm warning you, Mister. Brauchen den Basie. Der gute alte Basie. Sein Freund und Helfer in der Not. Okay, jetzt sind wir an der, auf der anderen Seite der Mauer. Ich möchte mich bloß ein bisschen umschauen hier vielleicht. Äh, Gibt es irgendwie wieder was zum Sammeln? Was ich dann wieder nicht einsammeln kann, wenn ich die Mission schon gespielt habe? Oder vielleicht ein paar Hinweise oder sonst irgendwas? Was 
Oder einfach verärgerte Leute. This is our home. Why can't you people understand that? Es ist aber nicht so, als ob du hier wohnen müsstest. Thank you.